nice little chunk. Throwing the chatterbait. That's right, we're gonna talk about smallmouth and chatterbaits. Open water, not too much grass, a lot of rock. It's not the world's biggest smallmouth, but hey, as I always say, it's a fish. It's all coming up. Well, it's not always flat like this on Lake Ontario. Today was pretty windy, so I had to use reaction baits, and uh, I couldn't really f travel too far offshore, so I stayed close and uh, got on them pretty good with that chatterbait. So, uh, the chatterbait, I was just using straight white, a uh, half ounce. I find that a half ounce is going to be your best bet uh, when you're fishing open water, things like that. You can use the 3 ace, but I think it's just a little bit light. Uh, I was varying the speed in the 8 to 5 gear ratio, so I would vary the speed of the retrieve. And sometimes I'd pump the rod a little bit, just kind of give that chatterbait not just a straight standard retrieve. You just want to put a little bit of action in case you have one following and whatnot. Also in clear water, I'm gonna have a drop shot or today I had a Ned rig ready to go. If I see one chase this and doesn't bite, scoots off to the side, I can normally pitch over to catch them. And uh, sometimes when I came over just really good looking cover and I made a couple casts with a chatterbait, I, I didn't get a bite. And so I threw that Ned rig in and was able to pick off a few bonus fish, I call them. Uh, doing that. Uh, trailer for me uh, today, uh, one of my favorites, I use it quite a bit, uh, just a three inch swim and Cinco in white, uh, white with silver flake I guess. So what I really love is this actual rod. This is the Dobbins Champion XP DC 736 CB glass, okay? It's not the best rod for ripping a chatterbait out of grass, although it will work in sparse vegetation. I use this one on the Chesapeake Bay quite a bit until that grass gets just too thick to rip a chatterbait. But for open water applications and a little bit of scattered grass, it's very hard to beat this rod. Now, I haven't had the best of luck with Dobbins rods as far as the guides and things like that. I mean, I send a half a dozen in a year and uh, they don't really have like a free replacement they charge me every time, so it gets expensive. Um, I think if I was to switch rods at some point, uh, this 736 is probably a rod though that I would have to keep uh, in my arsenal because it is probably, as far for me, it's one of the best chatterbait rods I've ever used. And so, you know, it's it's held up. I've had to get the guides replaced a time or two. It's beat up. It's caught a lot of fish. Uh, this rod here, uh, but it does do the job and I'm really happy with it. So if you're looking for a really good chatterbait rod, this is fiberglass, it's heavy, a little bit heavier rod, but it's going to really allow that rod to load up and that's important so you don't lose fish with that chatterbait. It's rare that I, I lose a fish uh, with this rod, especially in, in open water. And then I was using 12 pound fluorocarbon as my main line. Uh, other colors, you know, if the water was a little bit more stained, guys, uh, don't be afraid of straight green pumpkin. Also, a chartreuse in white would work as well. Uh, I just stuck with white today with a silver blade, but just experiment with color and see what, what those fish are, are hitting on that particular day. All right, I also forgot the chatterbait, jackhammer, right? I, I talk about that. I use jackhammer a lot. Likes to hunt, gives a little hunt in action. I think it's one of the better uh, chatterbaits on the market. I use it all the time. Look at the sun. Which way is better here, guys? I don't know. It's expensive, right? But you don't lose a lot. You really don't. Now, the original chatterbaits and the elites and all that, they'll work. Fine. I just have more confidence in that jackhammer. Just produces well for me. It's, it's a bait that that I like to use, so I do recommend that. Now they also have that clear bladed uh, chatterbait. I have not got my hands on that. Love to give it a try. I'm looking forward to giving it a try. I'm gonna get some this winter and uh, toss them around this this coming spring. I can't. All right, back out on the water. Just chucking that chatterbait, covering water, letting that wind. Just push the boat around over this uh, this cover. And looking for some big brown bass.
another nice one on the chatterbait. Now, whenever I'm throwing a reaction bait, I don't care if it's a chatterbait, a uh, jerk bait, spinner bait, gonna have some type of finesse bait ready to go because you never know when you're gonna need it. That's one thing about fishing shallow, uh, at least today where I'm at with a chatterbait, you're able to really see with the high sun and I just saw a boulder and uh, believe it or not, I went past it with the chatterbait and uh, didn't turn up a fish, but they look too good. And so uh, I tossed that Ned rig back in there and I uh, was able to get that bonus little smallmouth. Oh, I missed them. It's so hard to feel the bite. So I guess today's pattern is throw a chatter bait. You might randomly catch one. Look for a bigger boulder. There he is. And throw a net. I mean, these aren't huge, but listen, it's blowing, as you can see. Uh, there's not a lot of uh, places I can fish today. Like comfortable. more of those. That was a nice fish. So this next fish, if you'll notice, I believe he bumped my bait forward and then uh, knocked it away and I kept reeling and was able to catch him.
I got on a few smaller ones. But it was time to call it a day. So on the way back, did a little frog fishing. I caught a couple good ones actually. But that's for another video. All right, guys, leave in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite chatterbait is for smallmouth, what you've had success with in the past, whatever. Whatever you want to tell me in the comments. Let me know what you thought of my sweatpants today or my boots or whatever. Whatever you want to say, feel free to say it. And as always, until next time, we'll see you guys on the